Hello, I'm Heather Ford. You're watching our special look at 50 years of Queensland television. And what a milestone that is. You know, it's hard to believe it's only been five decades since TV first entered our lounge rooms. As viewers nowadays, we have an immense choice of programs, from drama to comedy, lifestyle and reality television. But in the early days, it was all about the variety show. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome your host for Laugh and Be Happy, Mr. Paul Sharrett. A household name in the 70s and 80s, Paul Sharrett was Queensland's Mr. Television. Oh, bless your hearts for coming out to see us on the very first night of our Studio 9 show. And we do hope you sitting at home are going to have a wonderful evening and enjoy a live show from the studios of Channel 9. It's all happening live up here. <laughs> After a stage career in London, he toured the world before settling in Queensland to join the pioneers of television. Now, shut up, everybody. We did have a case not long ago where... where... I never, if I was a ventriloquist, I'd never have a dummy like that. Paul Sharrett produced so many shows over the decades, but his most famous was Studio 9. Sadly, the veteran entertainer passed away in May this year, just a week after recording this interview. The transition for me from, from stage to television was a difficult one. I'd always been a stage performer. Quite honestly, I always preferred stage work to television. But at that time, in the early 70s, television was really beginning to come exciting and everybody was involved in it. He was a totally... He was a very professional... Um, Englishman who really came out here and showed us all how to do it because he, he'd been doing it for the whole of his life. All right, you've won it. We didn't tell him what it was. What, what did they won? Tell him what it is. The motel, a night in the motel with you. No, no, no. They've won a weekend for two at our favourite hotel. Oh, the Broad Beach. In... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was really a time that was so exciting. QTQ9 was looked upon as being the live television centre in Australia, strangely enough. Paul had another big television hit with Autumn's Music Hall. Broadcast live from a theatre restaurant on the Gold Coast, the show recaptured his British vaudeville day. We would sail up the avenue, but we haven't got a yacht. We would ride up the avenue, but the horse we had was shot. It was all the fun, the old songs and the comedians of the British Music Hall. That was a wonderful concept and it really was successful. And it, it became uh, a little legendary saying on the Gold Coast, and I might say it still is, when it is brought to you, of course, at enormous expense, which was the little catchphrase that preceded each of the, the Music Hall acts. Paul Sharrett also produced the long-running shows Stairway to the Stars and Reg Lindsay's Country Homestead. He was behind many big-budget celebrity specials for Channel 9. I wanna see a show stop over the show stopping song. A show stop over the show stopping dance. But the most important special of all was in 1982. The Queen was here for the Commonwealth Games, and Channel 9 was asked to stage a gala performance. I'd love to have a beer with Philip. I'd love to have a beer with Phil. It was to be the last show in Brisbane's Her Majesty's Theatre. In the past decade, television has moved away from local variety shows with national lifestyle and reality programs leading the way into the future. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Channel 9's biggest TV hit over the past two years has been the big-budget drama Underbelly. And our long-running comedy show, Funniest Home Videos, is still going strong after 20 years. Yes, I, 
still laugh. I still do watch that. And I still laugh. When you get the, the four fat old ladies like me and my friends all sitting on the chair, one gets up and they all fall down. Straight away, I go. <laughs> Our own Jackie Mack, she's still just as wacky after all these years. It was an amazing time in an amazing place and doing things we loved on three cameras with a bit of string and sealing wax. Cutie Cube was where I started. Um, it will always be the first home, the first place and the best. You know, if it hadn't been for Channel 9, we would never have met and That's that true. would have been a shame. It would have. Would Happy have birthday. Terrible. Happy birthday, Channel Happy 9. Happy birthday. We helped create an industry that nobody knew anything about, hardly anybody knew anything. Happy birthday, Channel 9. Don't let all your firecrackers off at once. <laughs> Have a wonderful 50th birthday, and remember, it is brought to you, of course, at enormous expense.